you're asked to parameterize various sets, various one-dimensional sets. So what we're going to try to do with this question is to use vectors and a parametric vector form to describe the sets uh, in question. Okay. Now the important thing here to understand is that the parameter drives the kind of set that you get. Okay. So for example, right, we know that for a line L that has a vector V parallel to it and say some point A on the line, we know that the parametric vector form is the following. Okay? Now the important thing there is this thing here, the lambda. The lambda is like a variable here or a parameter. So really the vector x is a function of lambda. Okay? So it's a it's a function that gives you a vector as the output. Right? And lambda is the, the variable or the parameter. And just by restricting lambda to certain sets, you can get all kinds of different lines, line segments, rays, all sorts of stuff. So, the, so, so this, this extra bit here isn't just there for fun. That's what drives the size and the nature of the line or the line segment that you get with these vector functions or these parametric vector forms. Okay, so let's do, it, do some of these and we'll, we'll work our way through it. Okay, so in the first part, we want, uh, we've got two points on a line, A and B, and they have position vectors, O, A, O, B, little A and little, little B, determine a parametric vector form for the line segment A, B. So let me just see if I can draw this in. Let's say there's, this is our line L, or line segment L, here's B, here's A, and let's say here's the origin. Okay. Now, that would be the position vector of A. That would be the position vector of B. And the vector from A to B would be there. So, I don't want the whole line. I just want that little line segment. Can anyone suggest how we might do it? Yeah, sure. So we're definitely going to use this form, right? But we just want to change. We just want to change lambda. So how can we change lambda? What do we need for a for our our line? We need a vector parallel to the line or the line segment, and a point on the line. So we've got a point on the line. If we have another point on the line, then we can form a vector, right, between those points. So so let's say uh, let's say A is on our segment and the vector v, which is the vector from A to B, which is just this in this kind of uh, notation, or if you prefer it like this, where O is the origin. We know we can get that by the uh, triangle law of addition. Then what do we want? We want, let, let's say we're going to start our parameterization there. And as, as we vary or increase lambda, it's going to stretch or um, scale this vector or compress it, however you do it, to get all the points on AB. So you said lambda is between 0 and 1. Is that right? Yeah. OK, so what does that do? Well, sometimes it's, very, it's helpful to think about what happens at the endpoints of the, of the lambda interval. right? So when lambda equals 0, what's this? Well, that'll be 0, so I just get a starting point. And as lambda increases, Basically, lambda AB stretches, right? Or I guess it starts small and it gets, it gets bigger. Okay? So, okay, and in terms of these position vectors. It would be this. Okay. Now, here's a good question. Is that the only parameterization? Why can't, can, can I describe that line segment in a different way? Does the direction matter? Which, you, which way you, the, the, the function sweeps it out? No, the, right. The answer is no. 
So what would be another parameterization for this, for, the, for this line? OK, let's take this as my starting point. So you could have OB plus uh, lambda times BA. That would be fine too, with lambda between uh, 0 and 1. OK, so there's, there's lots more than just one way to parameterize these sort of curves, these sort of surfaces. So if, you, um, if they give you line segment AB, it's, it's correct to go at B as well? Yeah. Yep. And you don't have to choose the, um, you don't necessarily have to choose the, this interval either. You can, you, you, you can change that as, as long as you adjust in your, in your parametric form. OK? So it could be 0 to 1, or 0 to 2. And let's take half of the vector v. The point is there's an infinite number of ways to, to describe these things. OK, let's get a little bit more difficult now. Part 2, the ray from b passing through a. So let me just draw a little sketch of that. Again, we're going to use this form again. We're just going to control the, the um, uh, restrict the lambda, if you like. OK, um, so the ray from b passing through a. So let, let's, let's go up here. Let's say here's A, here's B, and there's my ray. All right, again, let's draw an O. You've got this vector here, this vector here. So how do I parameterize it? Well, let's start with B as our starting point, and we'll, as theta, as a uh, Lambda increases will sweep out the, the whole part of the ray. OK, so let's say B is a point on our ray. And let's just take BA as the vector that's parallel. OK, so let's use our, our form again that we had up here. And what do we want? If, if we're using this vector here, what do we want to get like our, our lambda to be between? Well, we need, we need to get that point, which will be lambda equals 0. But we want to stretch off to infinity. So what do you think the, the interval for lambda should be? 0 off to infinity. <coughs> OK, right. OK, in this case, it's, uh, it's going to be um, oh, B. Let's use B, because I've, I've, got, I've started off with that B there. OK, plus uh, lambda A minus B. OK, it's getting a bit trickier now. We want to parameterize all points P that lie on the line connecting A and B with A between P and B. So let me see if I can do this. OK, this is part three now. All right, so we want all points P that lie on that line connecting A and B. So let's just draw that in there and say that in there. And we want A, oh, a between P and B, so I better extend that a bit. Yeah? All right, so if we draw in, say, the origin again. Then you know, this can keep on going, of course. OK, and it can also go on the other side as well. So we've got points on the line. We've got a vector parallel to the line. What should it be, OK? so. Right, and say vector. Actually, let's start with B. All right, so it's similar to two a little bit. How can we choose our lambda or restrict our lambda so that we get sort of out to 
here, and we sort of start there. So that'll be the vector BA, and we want to sort of start our, our, our line there. Okay? How, how would we do it? What can we do to our lambda? Right, very good. Okay. Because you don't want to use that first part of the vector BA, do you? Okay, so, so let's use this plus M to say BA. Now there's another way to parameterize that, that line. Can anyone see it? Yes. Um, would it be greater than or equal to one? Because if it's equal to one, then would that be not between? With a between, or oh, depends how depends how how you define between. That's a good that's a good point. So, yeah, if if, if you're taking the between as strictly between, then yes, yeah, yeah you should have you should have a strict inequality on your lambda. That's a good that's a good question. Can anyone think of another way to parameterize the the set of points in question? No? Negative? Uh, it's okay. It's, it's good to... Good to um, well, we started there and then went out to there, right? Why don't you just start there? Oh, hang on. Let me do it, do it over here for the camera. We started there and sort of went out there just by you know, taking lambda greater than 1. Why don't you just start there and then go with... Start there with lambda equals 0 and then go that way. That would seem to make as much sense. So your lambda would be greater than or equal to 0 and your param parameterization would be A plus lambda BA for A greater than or equal to zero. So there's two, two parameterizations. Here we're asked to describe all points Q that lie on the line through A and B which lie closer to B than A. So let's just draw in the line. You've got say A here, B here, and you want the points that are that lie closer to B than A. Okay. All right. So again, it's just using your uh, so the origins there, your form, and then thinking about how we can um, control the theta. Okay, so how do we can control the theta there? Let me move that up a bit. So we don't want this. Okay. We want something like that. So the vector from here to here is like a half AB. Right? So we kind of want to start, I would say we want to start lambda at a half. Okay, because we don't want that, we're just interested in those points there. Okay, if we go over to the other side of the, of the point B, of course, the, all the points are closer to B than A. Okay, so we don't want, we don't want these, these points, any of these points in, in our description. We want to go halfway up and then start. And if you're talking about strict, you, you, would, you would say, oh, okay, I want to go a little bit more than halfway. Okay. It, 